Something beautiful that we'd never seen before at Peniche on a gloriously clear day. The Nau dos Corvos. Look at how clear the Belingas Islands look. And there it is. Yep, the crow's nest. Belingas Islands behind it, a lighthouse in the distance, fishing boats coming in and out. It's just glorious. Absolutely stunning, a perfect day for it, and the water is so clear down there. It makes you want to go for a swim. So here's the sign for Cabo Cabuero. Wow, information about the Vilingus Islands. The toilets, but look at how discreetly they've been built into the landscape. So you can check to see if they're open. They are. Three cubicles and toilet paper. And that one's even got a bidet. So this was the restaurant. It's been closed down because of rock instability. You've got an amazing view. Like seriously, look at this rock formation. It's just absolutely brilliant. Wow. He's far more adventurous than I am. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, it's called Cave. <laughs> brilliant. And your little window in the rock there, so you get your Instagram shot. <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm doing this one hand is probably not a good idea. Ah, look at this. How cool. You out the window. Back to the Belangu Islands over there. So pretty. And Mandy up above. Tread in very gingerly. <laughs> I found another fantastic place near Peniche. Love this place. Well worth coming here. And we just discovered this amazing chapel of the remedies here. 17th century near the cliffs. Our Lady of Good Remedy on the western coast of the Peniche Peninsula. This is foundation of a century of Marian devotion. The date when this temple was erected is unknown, although it's believed to be prior to the 17th century. According to the legend, an image of Our Lady was found in the 12th century, hidden in a small cave next to where the chapel lies today. And this was the devotion to Our Lady of Good Remedy. It's believed to have started inside the chapel. Is this stunning collection of azulejos tiles on the walls and the ceiling? Everywhere. You can tell the age of the chapel by the fact that we've had to drop down stairs to come mm. into here. It's stunning. We're a lot lower now, yeah, and it's cooler as well. Nossa Senora is up there in a black cape in a beautiful shrine. here at the Cruz dos Remedios. Unfortunately, I think the weather and the wind and the rain, it's taken its toll on this wall. So just be very careful. Oh boy. It's quite a drop down there. Yeah, maybe where the cave once was is now just a pile of rocks. It's uh, a landscape that's constantly in the process of moving, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, even where we're standing right now probably <laughs> isn't going to be here one day. So if you come to Peniche, I can so recommend you make your way out to the coastline. This is a Cruz dos Remedios. The lighthouse up there, Cabo Cabuera. 
I mean the weather changes fast, it was bright blue sky when we arrived and now look at it but oh my word, it's absolutely spectacular. Okay, this is yet another reason why we love Portugal, the incredible wine and the incredible wine deals. We just came back from Continent with this bumper haul and oh my word the specials. I have to tell you some of them. The very best value we had, we paid €2.99 for this bottle, we saved seven euros. Oh, that's just so incredible. This one, a Cavallo Bravo, and this lovely Vino Verde Amado. We paid two euros 99 each, saved four euros 50 per bottle. It's the fanciest looking bottle of wine, wasn't on special, and it's always one euro 99. <laughs> so there you go, it goes to show that, you know, looks can't always tell you the honest truth. And the amazing thing is, nine bottles of wine plus a packet of basmati rice, a large packet of oats and a jar of olives, which we have opened, came to the grand total of 27 euros and eight cents. And we saved a grand total of 28 euros and 10 cents. So we could buy the whole lot again. You know what I mean? They're like, yeah, it'd be quid then. So seriously, how are we ever going to be able to drink wine when we finally leave Portugal? Just incredible. <laughs> this is our very first time at Wat Panish. Oh my word, it looks incredible. Okay, really good start. Eat well, feel good. Sushi, Wat, grill. This looks even better than it does online. Look at the prawns. Oh wow, so this is going to be the teppanyaki section. You've got your prawns and look at those amazing mushrooms over there and the octopus and the chicken and... Oh, Lee's going to be so excited. Look at the meat. There's pig's ear again. Look at the feta and the salads and the squid. Again, it's always so good to come at the beginning. So here's the Chinese up in the hot food section. Noodles and rice and oh, this looks incredible. So far, I'm thinking this is the best buffet we've seen yet. This, they've also got little pizzas. I, have, I don't even know where to start. But anyway, I'm going to go down now and show you the dessert because they also look amazing. Flan, and we've got chocolate mousse, and we've got jelly. Oh, delicious poached apple. Yum, light cheese, melon, kiwi fruit, pineapple. <gasps> No, I haven't seen this before. Cream! Five different types of ice cream. I think. This is, it looks incredible. And the prices are really good. I'll put that up in a second. So now, here we go. We're gonna go and enjoy our delicious meal. First time at Wok Panish. Sweet chili, agridoce, and I'm guessing this is, oh, teriyaki. Oh, and here's the all important ginger and wasabi. This is just so cool. I'm really, really impressed. And I can't wait to get started. Where do I start? Where do I start? Maybe with the salads? The staff here are so lovely. Like they saw me take, you know, all the, the video footage and the photos, etc. And so they've made us special sushi, but it's like the normal sushi is so blinking amazing. They could have just, you know what I mean? Let us loose on that. I'm so impressed with our friend's plate. Oh my word, it is beautiful. It's very healthy. And here's Lee's uh, plate number Not two. Not so healthy, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so I went for the teppanyaki and I took a selection of meats, but the, the main one, I'd have chopped it off actually. There was a big piece of beef and mushrooms and um, I threw a few veggies in as well, just to, you know, for a bit of healthy option. <laughs> but really happy with this. Dessert plate. Either number two or number three. I think it's number two. And oh my word, it is just so good. And so here are the prices. So weekdays, it is €10.95 for lunch, €13.95 for dinner. And weekends, €30.95 for both. We spent our last three months in Portugal at two of our favourite house sits in Praia del Rey. It was just so wonderful to spend time with the Huskies, Zeus and Mishka. And of course, our beloved Tilly. Oh, she's such a gorgeous kitten. Well, she's not a kitten anymore, but we've been with her for so long that it's been so lovely seeing her grow. This is one of the things we absolutely love about house sitting, just getting to know the pet and also like the time you have to yourself. And we spent a lot of that making videos. And for one of our last meals out in Portugal, 
We're at Pingo Doss. We're at the massive one in Carlos Terrania. And the prices have gone up slightly, but oh my word, things are just so much better than they used to be. We're here with our lovely friends, Doran and Tiffany. We're not going to show you them, but we're going to show you their plates for sure. This is Tiffany's. Oh, lovely tandoori chicken, cheesecake, and Tiffany had water. Uh, Lee's also got the tandoori chicken, chocolate cake, and that wonderful wine. And a bit of repetition here because we've got the chicken and we've got the chocolate cake and I went for this wine. Doran went for something slightly different because he's vegetarian. He went for the vegetarian option, this lovely looking veggie pie. Veggies and look at that. Wow, I can't believe the pancake was included. So for the plate, different prices, but it works out €1.79 extra for the dessert, for the wine or whatever drink you want, and for coffee. Worked out to around €6.50 per person for all of that. And it just looks so lovely and tasty and wonderful. Thank you so much, Darren and Tiffany. <laughs> like, you bring us to the best places. <laughs> best toy ever. Ball and paper. Go on, then. <laughs> I couldn't leave Portugal without doing a wine review on one of my favourite budget wines. This is from Continent. Now it's always €1.59. It's called Lezeria and this one is a medium dry, medio seco, which is quite rare for Portugal actually because they tend to be like dry. Beautiful colour. Look at it, it's like raspberry juice. And the flavour is... Oh my word, it's lovely. Yeah, just as nice as raspberry juice. As you can see, it's slightly fizzy. Frizzante, I think they call it. The little bubbles there, and oh, it's just such a wonderful drink for a summer's afternoon. So it turns out, just opposite the street where we go to our lovely cafe, is the Blumen Fish Market, Mercado do Peixe. I cannot believe this. I can't believe all these times we've been here. Never seen it before, and look at that. We've got some more things on the art trail. Oh, lizards. Oh, there they are. Seriously, how on earth can we have been in Carlos Serenia all this time and never been to the fish market? Oh, they've got the stuff from Nazareth. Carapal, 10. Sogao, 16. Choco, 14. 12. Nazareth, Lulas, 16. I don't know, Carapal from Nazareth. That's pretty cool. 4 euros for, I'm assuming that's a dozen. And over here we've got the ladies in the Nazare fishing costumes. This looks amazing, I'm not too sure what they are. But look at the length of them. I think it's nine euros a kilo. And Muriel, 14. Wow, Dorado, 13.60, that's wonderful. Oh my word, these are enormous. I'm not too sure what they are. Salmon's 13. And yeah, it's just amazing. You've got all this incredible fresh fish. No scent. Can't really smell it. But it looks so healthy. Lovely bright eyes. Brilliant. And the shellfish. These ones here, like seven euros a kilo for the vertigal. And the crabs, live crabs. 55 a kilo, I'm guessing. Look at them. These ones are 6 euros a kilo. Wow, I'm not too sure what these are. 25 euros a kilo. Amazing. Public toilet. They're near the front entrance. Wow, the polvo, 12 euros, the octopus. And the choco, which is cuttlefish, 14 euros. Not too sure what. Raya is. Ah, it's a Nazare Lula, 16 euros. So many types of fish, and yeah, also fresh and amazing looking. Coolest scales I've ever seen. You've got your photo on it there, and this is the price. So grateful to our friend Ladonna for bringing us here this morning. Amazing. So, back at the wonderful market here in Carlos Serenia, like seriously, still my favourite outdoor market in Portugal. And look at this store, oh my word. We've got organic, most delicious vegetables. 
Oh wow, I'm not too sure what these are. Some type of feet and they've got the radishes and... <gasps> Thank you, Brianna. So Brenda Donna has just made a purchase. Napa, Napa, Cabbage. Lovely. <laughs> on a slightly cloudy Saturday morning and... Hustling to get my bus, which is leaving in a few minutes. Um, down this way. Can't believe it. After all this time in Portugal, Lee's flying out today. Yeah, um, mixed emotions at the moment. Really quite sad to be leaving Portugal because I absolutely love this place. Uh, but excited to be traveling on, seeing family and all the rest of it. Well, right, here I come. Busy filming <laughs> like he's getting ready. He's got his ticket, yeah, etc. Yeah. Haven't flown since April 2019. And today, Lee's flying. It's all, it's all over. One last farewell. Okay, <laughs> you just got on the bus. <laughs> I know, they're so lovely. Okay, safe travels. And that's it. Wow. That's Lee heading to Porto. Um, I'll be leaving next Thursday. Um, I'm flying out of Lisbon. So I'll be getting the bus down to Lisbon. And yeah, and then that'll be it. This is so much fun. We're just walking around all these back streets of Kaldash, Ladonna and I, and just never seen these amazing buildings from this angle. I don't know, like, I know you can walk through, but it's just so cool. If you watched our recent comparison shopping video with Imo from Planet Imo, you'll recognize a few of these things. Because this is what we have for breakfast every single day in Portugal. The natural Greek yogurt, the purple luxury muesli, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, oats, frozen mixed berries, and banana that I freeze and I put in bread bags. Oh, and I've always got elastic bands. So another thing I've done, this is deliberate uh, because I, I don't really like to travel with loads of dirty clothes. So I've done all the washing, everything's nice and clean. And the clothes I'm wearing now are actually ones that I'd plan to throw away. Now I really hate throwing clothes away. Um, so I've been wearing this rather holy t-shirt for months and my jeans my jean shorts i don't know if you can see if i go this way i mean these jeans are really baggy anyway they had a hole in the crotch which i patched and then this went and i was like oh okay it took a while but then i finally thought no mandy you've got to chuck them away and buy something new from a second hand shop in the uk you know what i mean we'll go from there and it'll be nice to wear something different so these clothes that i'm wearing my lovely blue top and my beloved Jean shorts are going to go in the bin tomorrow morning.